What's good YouTube? It's your boy Calvi baby. Uh -huh. And in today's video I'm gonna be reacting to all this DDG Riley drama going on right now. Um I didn't have any skits film, but I've been posting daily for a few days now, so you know I have to get something up for y'all. So I got this. I'm gonna do this little reaction. Dear dear Riley, this is the end. Let me get this screen recording. I don't like to talk too much, you know, I just want to get into it. But if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like. Comment down below your thoughts on what everything that's going on right now. Have you unsubscribed to Riley yet? Let me know. Comment down below, okay? But let's get into this video. <laughs> Gotta watch the whole ad, guys. Support the boy. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Done. What career? But I'm not a rapper. What career? <laughs> so that's how we starting the video now, huh? What career, huh? I'm about to end this man's whole career. Okay. Let's see you do it then. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video assistant. with your boy DDG. But before we get into all this juicy, juicy drama, man, guess what? OD is still trending. Okay, okay, okay. If you haven't seen my reaction to that, go watch it. OD is still trending right now, man. Go to your trending page right now. We're trending number six worldwide. It's 1.5 million views. We're going up, DDG squad. Yes, sir. So much stuff has happened so far, man. I'm reacting to y'all reactions after this. I'm gonna post that video after this. It's gonna be super duper lit, super duper excited for that. Gotta create some positivity within this drama. Uh, make sure y'all go check it out right now. It's coming to Apple Music and Spotify this week, and y'all stream that up. Currently at 1.5 million views. Let's go. And it's only been a day and a half, man. So make sure y'all go check it out right now on your trending page. First link in the description. But. We are getting into some drama today. Now, I ain't made no videos about no drama in a long time. You know what I'm saying? Since we talked about the, the tall, lanky dude. I really don't be liking to get into drama. I like making positive videos. This is a family channel. You know what I'm saying? This is all about positive vibes and everything. But I have been disrespected to another degree by someone that I have helped so much. And I'm gonna give y'all a backstory. And one thing about me, I don't like, I like giving y'all a little bit I saw Riley's video last night when, before I went to bed, and I was like, okay, here's my problem with, with Riley right now, well, what she's doing, right? Like, I, I'm not the one to get into like beef like this and stuff, but DDG puts you on, right? Went from zero to like 200K in like a month or something, right? Something like that. And I was like, damn, DDG really did that for her, you know? mad and this is like a real life scenario you know don't bite the hand that feeds you right that's the saying like what are you doing this man's g gave you a platform right this man may helped you make so much money right like if I, I just, if it was me personally, I just wouldn't have said a thing at all. Even in DDG's The Truth video that he posted like a few days ago, whatever, he didn't say anything bad about Riley. He said, you know, I got nothing but love. Go support her still. She's a good person, blah, blah, blah. That's how it should be handled. Why is Riley on her channel attacking this man? Talking bad on his name for what? If if her video was more just, you know, oh, thanks, DDG, for, you know, what you've done, but, like, we're separating, blah, 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 it's cool. But she talking down on his name when I watch this video, and I'm like, damn, bro, that, that kind of puts me off now, you know? It's like... Ah, you know? But I don't like putting Bad out move. too much personal information on YouTube. Why would I just you stop don't like doing this guy, it. Now, I text this girl, Riley. The guy that made you. I text her and I told her, listen, Riley, don't put no personal info on there. If you guys watch my video when I said, who's still in Zulu, where's Riley, all this other stuff, I said in the most respectful way, we just don't work together. 
But y'all still go support her. Like I said. She's a great person. She's a great friend. I don't know, man. It's, but I, I love Riley, man. She's a, keep supporting her, man. Anything to bash her. Now, Riley, this has to be, and I'm going to say this in the most respectful way possible. This has to be the dumbest thing you could have ever did. The du <laughs> uh, absolute Facts. dumbest thing you could have ever did. Now, I'm going to tell y'all. Like, you can't stop beef with someone, especially at the level she's at. And she's only there because of this guy. And now she's starting beef with this guy. This man has 3.6 million followers. This is not one to start beef with. Not right now. This is not the time. The backstory on everything. Before I get into this reaction, this video like might be a little dumb long. Move, get your popcorn. Dumb business move in general. Go heat up some chicken. Go heat up whatever. It's quarantine time. Lay down on you. And I hate, I hate putting stuff in people's face. But listen, I gave Riley my. This is my legendary laptop. All my info on here, text messages, everything. I made millions of dollars off of this one laptop. Riley couldn't afford a laptop. I gave her this, okay? Not to put her business out there, but she's already putting mine out there. I went to best. Man said that so, like, cool. <laughs> like, he ain't just drop a whole bomb right there. Buy. Went to Best Buy. Mind you, this is not in the Zooted ENT contract. I just believed in her so much that I took my own hard earned money, took her to Best Buy, and purchased her a camera. And I can kid you not. Matter of fact, I wish someone would buy I me a camera, deep, bro. I'm going to just specify. We're going to call straight on the phone. I'm just going to call the other Zooted ENT members really quickly just to show how much love I show right this really, really fast. Okay, I'm not into all the extra stuff right now, you know. Super duper quick question. You bought me a camera? Yeah, so. No. It's something okay. they all, all said right. no. Alright, that's all. What? That's all. Alright, I gave Riley this laptop, bought her a camera, I made, I helped make this girl a YouTube channel. She literally started at absolute zero. When I met Riley, she was at 3,000 subscribers. Now, how I met Riley, this is what you guys need to understand, but. I'm not going to specify it until I get into the reaction. How I met Riley? I met Riley. She came to one of my LA showcases. First time T.O. performed. If you guys go watch that video, that's the night that I met True. Riley. She came there, right? That was it. I met her. I seen the star potential. I was like, listen, you look like somebody. I kept telling her the whole night. I was like, you look like you can. Like going back to Riley's video, she was saying from the jump, DDG was like trying to, you know, get it with her basically like, and I was like, Really? It wasn't, I did not believe it, but I was like, uh, I'm not too sure because like, they've done pranks before where Riley was like, you know, I have a crush on you and DDG just rejected it, you know, like this is business. And he, he's always been strictly like, this is business, like we don't, you know, mess with each other like that because business is business, you know how it go, huh? So I'm like, eh. Not too sure, really, you know. And if that was the case, if DDG was hitting her up first and then was like, "Oh, I got, I got a contract for you. Like, we can make, we can do business." Why would you take that business when you know at first he was trying to hit on you? You feel me? Like that? That's not a smart move either. Be somebody. If that's the, if that's the truth. But he's saying that they first met at one of his shows. So, eh. I'm DDG Squad all day, you already know. Like, this man has inspired me so much. Like, it doesn't matter what Riley says at this point. Like, you could say I'm ignorant. I might be. I just started this company. If you want, let's go grab, like, a bite to I'm eat. just loyal. Let's go get okay. a little bit of dinner or something. We went to Noble and Malibu. We talked about the business, everything. Woo, woo, wop, wop. Signed. And we just got to work. Then she got 200 can a month. Now let's get into the reaction. That is the whole backstory. I looked out for Riley more than any Mad. other person. That's why I'm so highly disappointed that she decided to throw dirt in my name. But we're gonna get into this video. Without further ado, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get it, let's go. All right, y'all. Um, I was gonna set the camera up, set the um, tripod up, but I don't feel like editing this video because it's nothing else to say to this girl. Not even high by anything, but um, this is beef beef. 
I'm gonna just show y'all the video so y'all don't even gotta go watch it. Don't even go watch our video. Point blank period. I already watched it, my um, bad. But let's see. A lot of fuzzy, a lot of things that just hasn't made sense. For starters, with the way we met, you know, like, I like didn't, I saying, like, say the right way where we met because he didn't feel like it was going to be appropriate because the same way he met Seven, he met me. I met him in the club. Here's a video of me and him in the club. This was the day of my birthday. I met him through a friend. He liked me at that moment. I oh! Somebody, oh! He needs oh. some milk! This is very, this is very unfortunate. This is disappointing. I don't want you, Riley. If I wanted you, I could have you. Okay. Despite of you having a boyfriend, despite of anything, point blank period. If I wanted you, I could have had you. And you know that, bro. Damn, talk your shit. We too. both know that. Okay, damn. First time that To <laughs> performed. If you guys want to go back and find it, I met Riley that night. She came to the little LA showcase with one of my homies. It was the nigga that was in the clout chasing video. Actually, he was in the clout chasing music video. That's hilarious, bro. She pulled up with the dude from a cloud chasing video and right now she is proving to be a cloud chaser oh. it's and funny how things work you know hey when i seen her i was like you look like you can be somebody that was basically it i was like you look like you can be somebody whoa, like i was whoa. saying now i'm not gonna sit here and act like riley is ugly she's not ugly okay but in reality riley you're not fucking with any of my exes you're not fucking with any girls that i really do mess with i'm not attracted to you like that I wouldn't put my neck out on the line. That's why I did business with you. I don't want you. Like if I wanted you, I wouldn't have did business with you. Point blank. Period. That's what you don't get. Period. I didn't. I have no. I had no intentions of messing with you. You've been on this couch right here. I'm talking about. Riley has been over my house until like one in the morning. Don't touch her. Swear to God on my life, I never touched Riley. Never kissed her. Never hugged her. Nothing. I could put that on the pipe. I never did anything, anything to even try Riley or even spark that interest in her mind. And when you was out here, Riley, you was messing with a lot of other dudes. Oh! We, used to, we used to talk about your boy oh, problems. And then you went to Chicago and you started dating this dude, which is cool. And what did I tell you? I told you, Riley, film with him. You're going to make a lot of money. Y'all two light skins. They like light skins on this platform. Film with them. Get a lot of views. You think I was jealous? My bad, let me pause this real quick. Just make this make sense. Riley, if that is true, if I'm jealous of you having a boyfriend, why am I working with Seven who has a whole family? Why am I working with Lala that has a whole boyfriend? Why did I sign Danny, he's a whole dude? That nigga gay. Something don't sound right. Your time has come. You're done, you're done, you're done. Get Riley to 50K. Initial interest, I rejected him multiple done, times, you're done, you're and done. then he brought on a contract type deal with the. I don't want you. I promise you, I don't want you. I promise you. I'm flattered that you thought that, but I do not want you. And I say that in the most respectful way possible. I never, ever tried you. I'm not sure if you guys have ever been to like these. Every time, like. I'm about to get real disrespectful. I always say that. Like, uh, I, I say this in the most respectful way possible, and then just say the most disrespectful shit ever, bro. Like, <laughs> types of clubs in Hollywood. There's a lot of people who always want to give you opportunity. A lot of men. A lot of men with a lot of money. Mm -hmm. What did he say? There's a lot of people who always want to give you opportunity. A lot of men. A lot of men with a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Who are you and why are you in the video? This has nothing to do with you. I don't even know your name. Bro, listen. The so model This is just straight up hate. Like, how are you gonna asterisk opportunity like that when, like he said at the start, Riley went from zero to 200K subs in a month. That is an opportunity. It's not no opportunity. That's an opportunity, bro. It's just, here's a plate. Eat. Eat. You feel me? Just, he fed you. The money that I made off Riley can't pay a bill that I have. Not even a fraction of it. Like, I, like the amount of money that I, 
Let me tell you, okay, I'm gonna give y'all a little backstory since we're getting personal. Riley, you was a personal assistant when I met you. You had no YouTube, you had 3,000 followers on Instagram, okay? <laughs> you were probably making, I don't know how much you was making, but you, I remember you told me, you was probably making like $3,000, $4,000 a month, maybe. No, but probably like $3,000 a month doing your personal assistant job, right? The first month of me and you working, you made over $23,000. Bumble. The second month, you made over $16,000. Bumble. Damn, man. When we stopped working, you made $4,000. Bumble. In that month. Then you made $3,000. Bumble. And for the month of April, you made $600, Riley. Oh, oh, for two man. weeks in. Oh, he needs. Bro, he didn't have to go there, man. You just expose, brother. L. <laughs> Ooh, some milk. And for you to call and for your meathead ass boyfriend to call this an opportunity. Gracious. A opportunity? Funny. Are you serious? Don't ever disrespect my business like that. Don't res don't disrespect my business model or anything. I made you into a boss, a superstar. Point blank period. It's disrespectful for you to come on here and try to talk down on my name like I ain't put hella money in your pocket. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, if anything, she should have just made it the truth video, but it was like, like, nice, sincere. Like, oh, thank you, DDG, for all you've done for me. But, like, you know, we're separating now. This is what happened. But, like, she was talking down. And why, why does she have her brother and her man in the video? Look, DDG is solo dolo right now. She should have had her video solo where she just says what she needs to say, right? Keep it respectful. Don't talk down on the amount that fed you. Like, you don't do that, bro. If someone's helped bring you up, it doesn't matter what they do. You can't talk down on them, you know? Like, honestly. You, there's some things that you just got to leave unsaid. You feel me? This is one of them. What's wrong with you? In my opinion, now I'm honestly getting pissed, bro. So I can reach followings and like branch up pretty much. And for that, so well. but I would have to. I edited, uh, I edited a few of Riley videos. That's not in the contract. I do, I did so much for this girl. Like, I literally created the video, edited the video for her, uploaded the video, let alone made her channel with her. Like I literally set her down profile picture, a YouTube old channel, and I edited some of your videos. And I brought you around my family. Matter of fact, let me make a call real quick. I was going to the garage. Remember when we did that, um, that's what did I say? Remember you asked me to pull up? What did I say? Pulling up because what? When we, I'm not pulling up. Riley can pull up. Because you wanted, you had, I think you had just signed her and you were trying to like, all right. All right. You up, Riley. I want you to know that this has to be literally the dumbest thing you could have ever did, bro. And that was when I started to think it was really serious because I thought when you're trying to do stuff and oh. yeah, that's and when that's so... when DDG suggested to Riley that I talk shit about your friends, fake. Your relationships, fake. Oh. You put them all online for the world to see. I met this man once. I met him one time. I met him one matter of fact I met him twice. I met him off camera and I met him when we played basketball. You don't know me. Point blank period. That whole like fake drama stuff, like bro, we we all know like half of the YouTube is like skits. All the vlogs you see, all the all the beef that you see, you know, you can asterisk that. All the beef that you see is like we know it's like somewhat scripted, you know, like that's how people make content. Cause bro, if I was to just wake up and like, what content am I gonna make now? I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying, bro. But you get the point, everything is scripted to, so it's for entertainment, you know, we get it. It's not like we don't know. We became super close, but then the again, closer we got, the more information know, like, we shared. Like, that don't know that, you know, but I feel like that's just, it's a given, you know with each other and I told him about a person that I liked which was I described him in my videos a light-skinned guy with tattoos like that curly didn't be that serious until I started taking vacations with him and because he lived in Chicago so I would go over there 
Riley went to Chicago for 10 days. I told Riley to film with this dude. I told her to. She decided she didn't want to film, she didn't want to put him on the internet, whoop, whoop, whatever. Okay, cool, I get it. Soon as she got back from Chicago, all her views, and she got back and she got mad at me. Like, it was my fault. I told Riley when she went out there, you should film because you're not gonna have no new content. They don't wanna watch this bullshit content that you post. Mm. See, my whole thing with like her and her mans is that I felt like she shouldn't have posted her mans like in general. But I only felt like that because I felt like the reason she popped off is because she's attractive. You feel me? Like, yeah, DDG helped her, but her being attractive plays a factor too. You feel me? So I feel like a lot of her followers, a lot of people that watched her videos have like a false sense of like hope that they can be with her kind of thing. So once she she cuts that off and like she starts showing that I got a man, it's just like a lot of dudes, a lot of the young horny dudes that are there watching her videos because they're out there. A lot of them are like, oh, I'm not going to watch it anymore. Moving on. Going to find another one, you know? But if that's what he was saying, like, I feel like, yeah, like, DDG knows what he's doing with the YouTube, you know? I'm not one to talk about it, but... I was giving Those her my real advice. This video is nothing. Is giving she me should nothing have took but the, the ten days off, bro. She just started popping. That you need to grind. Okay, you need to go hard, bro. Like you're posting daily. She was posting daily consistently for I don't know how long, and then all of a sudden just stops. I wasn't paying attention too closely, but if she stopped for ten days, comes back and posts, and she doesn't have much views, of course you don't. You know, like. You haven't built that fan, that strong fan base yet. Like, yeah, you have 200k, but like, they're, they're from DDG. It's not like you really built it by yourself. You feel me? Pure jealousy vibes. She's just, she literally got 100% jealous when I started signing new people because she wanted all of my attention. She wanted me to keep growing her and all this other stuff, which is typical LA female stuff. You get used out here left and right. And this is a very, very prime example and a lot of y'all in the comments, y'all can see right through this girl, man. Like, she's completely 100% fake and ungrateful. I cannot believe this. She thinks that I got jealous because she started dating another. Riley, I don't want you. How many times do I have to say that? You look like him. You look just like him. Damn, man. I don't want you. Seriously, I do not want you. I wanted you to film with him so we can both make money, dummy. What are you talking about? Like, and if you want me to be real, yeah, we got close. Your girl was messing with other dudes in LA, my brother. Oh, Why are you sitting there biting damn, your lip? Son. Your girl was messing with other dudes. I know because she told me. Oh, I was her friend. I was talking to her about her boy problems. You trying to act all innocent on this video. You should have never, I told, I text you. I said, don't put no personal info in there. I warned her in the nicest way. She still came over here and did it. Riley, you was messing with all types of dudes out here in LA. Oh! All types of dudes out here, man. And then you went to Chicago because you said you like them. I'm like, all right, cool. If y'all get in a relationship, cool. But you acting single. So I'm like, just be careful. We'll whoop all this other stuff. Damn, just being a friend. Man. You come back, don't film with them. Your views plummet. You come back here, get mad at me, cuss me out. I say we done. I'm not taking no disrespect. I'm because I didn't need to. I created all these other videos before I left. I was on vacation at this point. And he knew you were going. And he knew I was going. So then after that, I came back and it was just like a problem. He didn't want to shoot videos with me anymore. He just like made it very clear that he was taking his space. So I worked even harder. I kept pushing him for more. She skipped the whole piece of the video. Riley got back from Chicago for two days. I am busy, Riley. I don't work for you. That's why I said in the last video. You came back here and you fell off because you went out to Chicago and you didn't post. You was posting nonsense videos, fully edited, not real, not genuine. They didn't like them. You was getting 20,000 views a video. You came back to LA. You wouldn't get no you money. Pissed, bro, and then you try to cuss man. me out because I'm busy. Like, I work for you. 
That's definitely not the case. Videos working, 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 but he wasn't promoting any of my videos either. So he, he wasn't partner. holding up that part of our partnership. He didn't work for me, no, and I didn't work for him either. It was you do one, I do one, we get this, you know. And I understand that he was. Yeah, though, like this one, the her brother's just giving his two cents in every like every few seconds. Like he's not needed in the video. Her man's is not needed in the video. They they are not the ones who have business with DDG. Riley didn't. It should be just Riley, like, you know. Busy and he has a lot of things going on. Trust me, I know. But it's still the fact that I was another part of his business that needed to be taken care of the same way of any other business that was going on. If That's what you call jealousy. Strictly jealousy. I really don't want to watch this whole video, y'all. Where, where is the tea part at? What's going on, guys? Yeah, when I watched the tea part yesterday, last night, I felt like the, that whole section of the video was irrelevant. Like, it was not needed at all. So... I'm here with my girl T. Hey y'all. And we gonna spill some tea. So, um, about Zooted. Did you get a contract? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, we got a contract. Everything was great. From the, it was great. And then... <laughs> bro, dip, she making you look bad, bro. And, like, we started to get, to, to, to get more personal. Like, talking about relationships type. He talked about mine. And then yeah, when that somebody, like that. as in my boyfriend, Trey, became <laughs> official, it just, everything, bro, like, like, the whole thing cracks. When did all this happen? In this video, this, this whole happened, section is like when useless. Like, gained no new information from it, really. It was just T giving her advice, basically. Did you stop um, working with him? It was March 7th. March 7th? Yeah. Well, yeah, I was so just a couple when T even like, got signed because I swear I saw a video like a while back and she was just clowning DDG. And I was like, when when she got signed, I was like, damn, so th they're cool now? You know, but T was clowning this man and I was like, bruh. Eh. Yeah days after me and him stopped working oh just what? two days after me and him stopped working together first of all i hit tia i came back where did i come back from i think i came back from mexico or something i came back from somewhere out of the i came from out of the whole country or somewhere i was coming in and as soon as i landed i text t let's link let's do a video she immediately texted me back talking about no because you ain't <laughs> hit me back to do a video blah 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 all this other stuff. T, I don't exactly like that. That's crazy. Just like that. I don't know why you're in this video. Like, I didn't make, I made zero dollars off of you. I don't even think you should even be in this video. It's no point. Go about your business. Do your whatever you do. There's no point of you being in this video. I have nothing to say about you, and I do not care what you have to say about me. I'm honestly done watching this video, y'all. Unsubscribe from Riley. I honestly, I just want to see how Riley, I want to see how you can do it on your own, Riley. I really want to see how you can do this on your own. I want to see you grow. I want to see you get a million subscribers. I want to see you do all this other stuff because this month you only made $600, man. Damn. And I want to see, I want to see if you can, you know what I'm saying, pull up. I, think, I want to see if you can pull it through and make a lot of money like I made you in the first couple months of us working since I ain't do enough. Since I ain't do nothing for you, right? So what I need you to do, I need you to do, if you're watching this video right now, and I never do this, unsubscribe from Riley. Let's see, let's see how, let's see how many, let's see how Riley can work on her own. Let's see if she can do it all on her own. So I need y'all to go to Riley channel, unsubscribe. Let's just see. Let's just see, man. Damn, yeah, that's the end of that. I feel like I've never seen this man tell you to, tell anyone in any video to unsubscribe. Never. So this is mad that, you know, it's gotten like this. No, I could understand, like, bro, you put all your trust, you put your time into someone. It's like a relationship, you know? Like a, like my video yesterday, I was talking about heartbreak, you know? This man's heart is broken right now. This man was used, abused, betrayed. Riley could have simply just been like, yo, like, thank you, DDG, thank you. But business just didn't work out how it, we would have liked it. And, you know, I'm starting a new chapter in my life. Something like that.
But to talk down to this man, talking about, oh, he wanted me, and because I wasn't giving him what he wanted, he stopped, you know, giving me attention. It's like, it's unnecessary information. We don't need to know that. If that is the truth, it doesn't. Like, we don't need to know. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, you know? Like, all that's going to do is have his fans feel bad about you. Feel a way about you. You feel me?